Kenya will miss its target of vaccinating 10 million adults by the end of the year, owing to the continued constraints in the global supply chain of COVID-19 vaccines. And now, even with the country set to receive 880,000 doses of Moderna vaccines from the United States government tomorrow, there is still a shortfall that would not enable the country to vaccinate an additional 8 million Kenyans this December. This, even as the latest situation report shows that only nine, that's right, nine percent of the elderly above the age of 58 who are at the highest risk of death have been vaccinated. And as Dorcas Wangira reports, uh, civil servants who will not have received their first jab by the end of tomorrow risk denial of entry into their offices, losing their salary and benefits as well as allowances. With 880,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine, a donation of the United States expected in the country Monday. This will be the first time a vaccine other than the AstraZeneca will be included in Kenya's government vaccination program. Kenya has so far since March this year received 2,730,140 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine from the Serum Institute of India and as part of bilateral donations from Denmark, France, the United Kingdom, Greece and France. So far, 2,396,064 doses have been administered, leaving 334,076 doses in Kenya's reserve. Kenya, in the week of 23rd to the end of August, was scheduled to receive approximately 390,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and 1.7 million doses of Moderna and 400,000 doses from Canada and another consignment of Pfizer vaccines from the United States in mid-September. Kenya is targeting to vaccinate at least 10 million Kenyans by December 2021 and 26 million Kenyans by June 2022. However, global supply constraints are proving a big challenge to attaining that goal. Kenya had procured 13 million doses of Johnson & Johnson through the South African vaccine plant. However, delay in full production approval by WHO has curtailed its capacity to meet the demand. The South African farm is now forced to rely on Belgium's vaccine production farm to finish its product, a process that constrains the supply of the much-needed jabs. On COVID-19 numbers in the country, Three quarter of deaths are accounted for by the elderly aged above 50 to 59, 883 deaths, and those aged 60 and above, accounting for 2,534 deaths. This group being one of the most vulnerable to severe disease and risk of death, requiring the vaccine the most. According to the latest vaccination data from the Ministry of Health, only 9.1% of the priority group of those aged above 58 have been fully vaccinated, leaving 91% of this group vulnerable and in need of the vaccines. 62.7% of healthcare workers have been fully vaccinated from the target population. 35.6% of teachers have been fully vaccinated, meaning more teachers are yet to receive both the first and second dose. Monday, 23rd August, is the deadline that civil servants have to receive the first dose of the COVID-19 jab. In a memo received 20th August by the State Department of Public service and issued in reference to the head of public service circular on COVID-19 vaccination of public servants, disciplinary action to be taken against public officers who will not be vaccinated include denial of access to offices, stoppage of salary and withdrawal of benefits and allowances. Africa's dependence on imports of COVID-19 vaccines has left it vulnerable to repeated waves of the coronavirus and raising demands for vaccine production. South Africa's Aspen Pharmacare, which has been contracted by Johnson & Johnson to manufacture the vaccines in South Africa in a process called Fill and Finish, the farm which was also expected to supply 220 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccines to African countries, under the African Vaccine Acquisition Task Team, is likely not to deliver its target. About 2% of Africans are fully vaccinated. Vaccine injustice? is a shame on all humanity. And if we don't tackle it together, we will prolong the acute stage of this pandemic for years when it could be over in a matter 
of months. At the same time, Johnson & Johnson has been exporting millions of doses that were bottled and packaged in South Africa for distribution in Europe. I was stunned by the news that J&J &J vaccines, fill and finished in South Africa, are leaving the continent and going to Europe, where virtually all adults have been offered vaccines at this point. We urge J&J &J to urgently prioritize distribution of their vaccines to Africa before considering supplies to rich countries that already have sufficient access. In the last 24 hours, 646 more people have tested positive for COVID-19. With the test positivity rate from 6,039 samples being 10.7%, 30 deaths have been recorded, all late, bringing fatalities to 4,497. 13,050 people received their first dose, and 794 more people received their second dose. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.